how to fulfill orders on Shopify with Zendrop dropshipping tutorial. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we will be taking a look at how you can get started with fulfilling your Shopify orders using Zendrop. So let's get into it. Now, what is Zendrop and how can you enable this feature on Shopify? Well, Zendrop is a industry leading dropshipping platform that enables you to automate your dropshipping and you can easily link it to your Shopify store to fulfill your orders. Now, the best part about using Zendrop is that they will automate the entire process for you. The fulfillment using Shopify is super easy and you will have a very professional look for your products. Plus, they have quite a large category of products. So, to get started with creating your own products using Zendrop, you are going to click on find product to sell or add your products. No, we're going to actually first link the Zendrop application to our Shopify store, and then we can directly add product to our Shopify store from Zendrop. And whenever someone orders on our Shopify store, the order will be sent directly to the supplier on Zendrop and then they can ship it to the customer and they will receive the customer details. You don't have to actively work. You can just work as a manager just to keep a check of how everything is going. Now to get started, simply head on over to add apps on your Shopify store. You can find it on the bottom left over here. Once you click on add apps, this section will pop up. Now in this section, you just want to scroll down and you will see this at the bottom, which is find more apps in the Shopify app store. So you're just going to click on the Shopify app store. And if you previously have created a Zendrop account, it's easier. But if you don't have one already, just go into the app store and just search for Zendrop. So it is Zendrop Global Dropshipping. This is the application. Then you're just going to click on add app. Once you have clicked on add app, you will see that it will now ask you for, uh, you know, guidance or, you know, permissions. So you can choose to enable all of your permissions and then you're going to click on install app over here. And that is all you have to do to fulfill your orders via Zendrop. Now, once you have, you know, authorized both of these platforms, it's going to ask you for, you know, what kind of sales channels that you are working on. So we're just going to click on Shopify App Store. Now you can see over here that it has now been linked to my store. Now I can also click on Open App over here to open up the Zendrop application and log on to my account. Now another way that you can get started is simply log on to Zendrop over here. You can click on Log In or if you don't have an account, simply click on Sign Up over here. You can sign up via your first name and last name and email number. So I'm just going to sign up over here and I'll get back to you guys in a second. So now you can see over here, I have logged on to my Zendrop account and you can see I have my Shopify store linked over here. So I'm just going to log into my Shopify store. You can choose either option. So you can go from Shopify to your applications or just log on to Zendrop and then you can link your store over here as well. So, uh, Currently, my store is defaulting, so I'm just going to use another store, but you can link any kind of store that you want. And then once you've done that, you can begin fulfilling your orders. So in Zendrop, first off, you have a navigation panel on your left, and in this, you will find your orders. So you can click on orders over here, and any of the orders that are placed on your Shopify store will appear over here as well. Now, in terms of how can you get products, you can uh, get, you know, multiple different products and you can just click on imported products and you can search for products that you've imported. You can click on import list over here to see any of the previously, uh, you know, searched products that you have, or you can just go into your dashboard and begin browsing over here. So after that, on the top right, you have your billing, you have all of your basic information, and then we have our Shopify store. So moving forward over here, you can see in your Zendrop desk, you will be able to find your product. You will be able to import. Now, there are multiple different uh, levels of Zendrop. So currently we're on the free level where you get access to over a million products and you can just go on ahead and, you know, uh, browse them on Zendrop. Now, that is totally up to you what kind of product you want, what kind of orders you want, and you will be able to see all of your order fulfillment over here as well. Now, if you want to continue on with a different Shopify account, you can go into your account over here and you can go into your profile 
in your profile you're going to find all of your basic information and from there in your profile settings you can um choose to log out to a different account so you can click on connect my store and create your free account from over here but i'm just going to continue on back to my actual account that i have previously created so now over here let's say i can click on find products over here and in my find products section i will be able to browse all the different products that are available on zendrop and if i want to enter these products onto my shopify store so all i have to do is i can just add them to my import list so let's say i want to uh add this new item which is like this blackhead remover i can click on add to import list now the import list is basically like a preset where you can uh, import all of your potential things that you potentially want to add to your store. And from here you can customize the listing, you can enter the product type, the collection, the tags you want to add. And then once you have finalized the descriptions, product, variants, images, all of that good stuff, you can go on ahead and click on import to store and you can confirm it. Then you're just going to click on confirm. Now once this that has been completed, you will be able to see the product in your store. And once the order comes in onto your Shopify store, it will move directly to Zendrop and it will be fulfilled automatically. You don't have to do anything. There is no, you know, third party thing you have to do. It's simple, easy and efficient and you can do this on the free version of Zendrop. However, there are a few limited uh, options. So uh, there are not unlimited orders. You have our order limit. You have um, things such as custom branding, US products, and Drop Academy product bundle, discounts, so on and so forth are not available on the free version of Zendrop. So for these premium features, you do have to subscribe to a pro membership. However, fulfilling basic Shopify orders and just starting off with drop shipping can be really simplified with Zendrops. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to follow along with these and techniques that I showed in this video and if you found them helpful make sure to share them with someone you might think that may need these share them with your friends with your family with your cousins and share them with any business partners that you might have and it might help you guys a lot to know all of these techniques and to follow along and if you enjoyed this video, I would recommend that you please leave a like and if you have any questions regarding this video, regarding any other video, or regarding any social platform, then you can definitely ask me in the comments down below and I will try to answer as soon as possible because that is the point of our YouTube channel. I want to show you guys on how to glide through these platforms and how to easily navigate and fulfill the purposes that you want to do with these social platforms and if you have any details that you might want to know any suggestions any improvements that you think that i could add on to these videos then please do leave them in the comment box down below and i will make future videos according to those and if you have any specific topics that you look forward to also leave those in the comment box down below and I will try to make videos on those as well and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out other videos and if you feel like some other video might be helpful to someone else make sure to share our videos with your friends and family as well and if you find that there is something missing I will try to figure out a way to an uh, integrate more accurate content according to your needs onto the channel so make sure to tell me if you find anything missing so that was it for today make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video